Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I want to go over um, a little demonstration on deep memory on these digital storage scopes. That's the real game changer today in digital storage scape, uh, digital storage scopes. I got the Siglent SDS 1202X. I'm going to use a Siglent SDG 810 arbitrary uh, wave generator and we're going to simulate uh, troubleshooting a power supply. Um, we're going to be looking at a gate circuit, uh, the voltage that drives the switching MOSFET. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm simulating looking at a switching power supply and I want to see the regulation or I just want to see the health of the power supply so I'm looking at the gate waveform and I've got something up here I'm going to hit this auto setup to make it quick and easy to capture that I like it on this scope because it does a great job at uh, just giving you a few cycles of spreading it out um, on the horizontal scale and also on the vertical scale it gives you a full picture so I really, I really like the way that works again triggering's center of the scale that's the level here and again when you start moving this round it does two things that are really neat one it shows you the little line where you're actually triggering and the other one it gives you the voltage now it was at 5 volts right in the middle of the waveform now it's down at 3.9 if I just come out here and push this in it'll go at the 50% point point. Um, the other thing is on the horizontal on the time scale it's triggering also on the center grid so that, that's my trigger point so these are the two trigger points level one and time and it's saying that the frequency counter says it's a 200 kilohertz waveform which you know that's typical of a power supply and um, down here I'm seeing uh, 10 volts 10.48 volts peak to peak um, kind of gave me that as an auto setup thing and um, times five microseconds but let's say I want to measure th some things of my own and maybe I don't want that so I'm going to hit the measurement and come down here and say clear and I'm going to say type and then I'm going to move this guy around I can just rotate this guy around or I can use a combination of these two guys to to move um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say I want to read amplitude and what else I want to see? Um, frequency. And um, I think I want to go to duty cycle. And you know what? I, I want to see rise time too. So I'm going to come over here and come up there and push that for rise time. So, okay, I think that's enough. Uh, hit this and that menu goes away. So I've got 10.32, 200K, duty cycle is 40%. Um, rise time is 31 now a second rise time. So, okay, it all looks pretty good. So, all right, that's great. Now, what I can do on a power supply is you wanna zoom out so you can see lots of waveforms to make sure it's nice and steady. And that looks pretty darn steady. And if you keep on zooming out, you can look to see if you have low frequency waveforms. I don't see anything there. so. I think it looks pretty good but now let's just put a put a problem in our power supply it's up oh, now I'm losing wave forms I'm losing pulses so I can okay I'm zooming out I still don't see any other pulses and I zoom out and I think I see some faint pulses here yeah I think I see more I'm gonna hit this auto set to make sure I'll just see what it does for me okay it looks like the same thing I see a faint pulse here one here and one here so again about three pulses okay I want to zoom in and look at that guy so I'm going to hit this horizontal button now this little slice right here I'll see that little dark spot when I zoom in like that it zooms into the center of the screen it zooms in on your trigger point which is the center of the screen in this case and I see this little runt waveform, which 
I'm going to say I don't believe that. I got a lot of information, a lot of time captured, and I think I'm not getting a Nyquist um, two points per waveform to capture a good waveform there. So I'm going to come up here to the acquirement. You know, I want to show you something first. When you're having a hard time, you know, seeing these little waveforms, I kind of knew what I was looking for, but what if, what if you, you can't see those? One way to make it easier to see is come to your display button here. Come to your color grade. Since we have a color scope, and turn on your color. I'll turn off the zoom. So we go kind of go backwards. Now you can see blue, 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 and our red line. And if I get more, say I see more pulses, so on. So, yep. Okay, now let's just say I want to zoom in on that again. And I want to make this guy zoom down on that one pulse. I want to see, take a good look at it. And it looks kind of crummy. So, again, I don't believe that. So I'm going to go to my choir menu and make sure, see, my depth, memory depth here, it's only 14K points. And I can go up to 14 million. So I'm going to, I can either toggle this or, you, or whoops, or come down with this guy and select the next one. So now it looks a little more square. Yeah, still, I don't, I don't know. Let's zoom in. Now, it starts off with 14,000 points because scope refreshes and runs a lot quicker. Um, when you use more memory, it slows things down. So, But in this case, we definitely want to get more points. So, up, oh, much more square. So I can even, let's see, I hit the wrong button there. Go to the memory depth and go down to 14 million points. So that's about as many points as I'm gonna get. And that waveform doesn't look that great still. It's still kind of moving around. I got a lot of waveforms up here, a lot of data points. Maybe I don't need that. So let's get out of the zoom mode. And you know when the scope, when I hit the auto setup, it only captured three waveforms. So let's just do that real quick. We're back to the three waveforms, so I think the scope knows what he's doing. So let's go back to zoom. And now look at that nice waveform. Rise time is about 20 nanoseconds, 27 nanoseconds. And that I believe. Okay, there's waveform I believe. So I can increase that amplitude too and move this around so I can get a kind of zoom in and use my waveform though. Whoops, I went a little too far there with that. So now I got a little better view and about 20 nanosecond rise time. So that's a, an example of deep memory. Um, you want to be able to see what's going on over a wide, wide period of time, but yet you want to have the resolution as you would in, a, in an analog storage, or you know, an analog scope or the old analog persistent storage scopes, um, but these digital scopes, much more, I think they're just so much more powerful these days. Anyway, there's, there's our first example of deep memory. I'm going to have a few more demonstrations on deep memory uh, to show other features. And also, you may have noticed when I was down here in the memory depth, next is the sequence mode. I'm going to show a, a demonstration of that sequence mode in another video. So give me a thumbs up if you like that, and stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thank you.